So hi, Mike Roponcho here and a few days ago I did make a video on how to connect a DSLR camera to a monitor for live viewing of the microscopic image and uh, today I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison. How good is the image quality of the signal that's uh, output here to a computer screen and compared uh, to the image that's recorded directly on the camera. Now I know the comparison is a little bit, yeah, maybe not quite as fair because uh, the monitor itself also only has a limited resolution therefore the image quality also suffers because of that but still I think it's an interesting uh, experiment and uh, as a matter of fact uh, it was one of my viewers uh, that uh, recommended or requested uh, to have uh, me make such a side-by-side -side comparison. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to show you first uh, how I set up uh, the system, how, to, uh, um, how I recorded uh, the image uh, from the monitor and then I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison. So this here is the setup. I put uh, my DSLR camera on a small tripod in front of the computer screen to directly record uh, record what you can see here. It's Closterium, by the way, that's, uh, that's an algae. And uh, it's connected directly over HDMI. Here, this is from my camera, which is mounted on top of the microscope. And it goes directly uh, into the computer screen. So there is no computer um, in, in between here. And this is the image which is recorded directly by the camera. So this is not from the screen, but this is actually the high resolution image. Um, I've got a 4K camera um, and I'm recording there for a very high resolution image. I think uh, it's uh, the pretty much one of the best image qualities that you can now theoretically get 4K. Yeah? And now this here is the image uh, as recorded uh, from the computer screen and uh, we see that the contrast is a little bit lower. Um, also some of the details are missing and there is this interest yeah, gradient. So the top left corner is a little bit darker. Um, it's interesting because I could not see this on the monitor, but uh, when I was recording it, um, it got a little bit darker. Here, this is a side by side comparison. On the left side is the image as recorded by the camera, and on the right side, uh, the one on the computer screen. And if you look very carefully um, on the computer screen one on the right side, you might even be able to see the pixels of the monitor. And uh, I think this is also a limiting factor here that further reduces the image quality a little bit. Yeah, here it's not a full image. Uh, and uh, even though I think the image quality is, uh, is still okay. I mean, it's a very useful one. Um, and I think uh, that, uh, yeah, if you don't have the side-by-side -side comparison, many people might even think that this is uh, perfectly fine. Um, but if you already know what to expect, then of course uh, it's not uh, not good enough here because this one is of course uh, significantly more crisp um, as an image and all the contrast is higher. Mm -hmm. So there is uh, really a, there is a significant difference here. Um, but then on the other hand, I think it could have been worse uh, a little bit. Now uh, it is of course also possible to, to directly connect uh, the camera uh, to a computer, and uh, this, however, does have a few disadvantages which I'm just going to talk about right now. So from now on, I'm going to switch back. And forth uh, and uh, yeah so this is again is from the computer screen I did not label it because uh, it's kind of evident which one is uh, the one from the screen and which one is the one directly filmed by the camera but I interrupted myself uh, one of the problems uh, of connecting it to the computer is, is that there is a slightly longer delay because the computer also has to process the image and uh, the resolution uh, is generally not quite as high because uh, the USB 2 connector which is still used uh, by some computers is, is too slow so if you want to connect it over USB you have to get a fast USB 3 port and you have to make sure that the camera is also able to to deliver that uh, USB 3.0 um, signal. It's only not only a question of resolution, but also of frame rate. Um, so I did not have very good experiences of recording a video directly on the computer um, over USB. Um, in that sense, I think that the solution that I have right now is to live view it on the cam on the screen and then record it over the camera is, I think, the, the way to go. And focusing is also possible um, on the screen. And then you can do all of the co composition work and uh, things on the computer screen. And then you know exactly how the image is going to look like uh, uh, later on when you actually also press the record button. So that's, that's a real convenient. Uh, here and I already mentioned in a previous video that you have to be a little bit careful when you get the camera 
that you are sh make sure that the image that is produced by the camera, the HDMI signal, actually is of a high resolution and does not include any unnecessary data because sometimes the camera produces an HDMI signal uh, with all of the menus and all of the additional information as displayed on the camera uh, screen, which is actually not necessary. It's called clean HDMI if you only get a pure HDMI signal, which you can also later on process. Yeah. I'm switching back and forth here. A whole bunch of ciliates uh, were floating around here. And uh, if you just look at the cilia, the little hair, you can see them here quite well, but they're a little bit more difficult to see, if at all, um, on the video, which I recorded directly from the computer monitor. Yeah. So there is a difference, but I think maybe the difference is not quite as large as one might expect. So that's it. I uh, hope it was informative. Uh, I think uh, the image quality that is delivered uh, from uh, the camera directly to the screen is quite uh, quite good actually, um, at least in the camera that I used. Uh, so if you want to try something similar, then I recommend uh, that you also check the specifications of the camera a little bit on the quality of the HDMI signal uh, that is uh, delivered. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye.